Hi, I'm Evan Stone from Inside the Industry. And we're bringing you a live from somewhere in a secret location in downtown Los Angeles in Inside the Industry. And then today, we are going to go inside of Inside the Industry to find out what actually goes on inside. Hi, this is Sienna, and stay tuned for more. I'm here at night now with my buddy, Mr. Seth Gamble, who's also co-starring with me in Co-Ed Confidential. We've done several movies together, and he's here today because he's co-starring with Lupe and Tommy and, and Randy and Cassandra and Sienna. You're going to do a little scene with her, and you're going to be doing, uh, what do they call that, the furry thing? I guess we're going to be dressed up like furry animals. Yeah. And uh, Mike was just telling us off camera that this is a big deal, that there's people that actually go around and they dress up in costumes and they fuck. Yeah, I mean, this is what I just heard. I didn't know this was such a big fetish. I mean, I've heard of a lot of different things, but this one's definitely a new original one. Yeah. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty wild, wild thing. It's also those people that, that dress up like Colonel Saunders chicken and fuck, too. Chicken fuckers. Hey, well, pay for me. <laughs> we can make it happen. <laughs> pay for me. Pay for me. Okay. Seth, you're, you're looking good. You're taking good care of yourself. You've got a good mental attitude. You've been working. You're one of the top male stars out there. What is probably the most rewarding thing that you're getting out of being a male performer in the industry? My bill's paid. <laughs> <laughs> and he's honest, too. <laughs> no. I love... I love having sex with beautiful girls. It's always fucking cool. Um, I Do you ever hear from guys that you went to high school or girls you went to high school with? Fucking time. It's like, hey, bro, what's going on, man? You're the fucking man. I'm like, yeah, I beat your ass in high school. That's pretty funny. <laughs> How does that happen? No, were you, or like, or were like you a bully? Were you, were no. you a jock? Were you a nerd? I a jock. I played sports. You were a jock. I played baseball. So you were one of the popular guys in school. Uh, you yeah. probably had the chicks and all that. No, I, I couldn't get a girlfriend for my life. I Get the fuck out of here. What, were you a nerd or something? What? I was a nerdy jock. <laughs> you were a nerdy jock? How do you do that? I had good grades in school, and I was, uh, but I uh, played a lot of sports. No, I did have my share of girls. Mm -hmm. so. But uh, I mostly had a girlfriend throughout high school and stuff. So. Well, how did adult all come about? I know, I know your background. A lot of people also may not know this, that you were a very successful mainstream male model. Yeah, I used to model, and I also was a male dancer for uh, bachelorette parties. I did private parties, and I did a couple club appearances. You were a male model yeah. for a lot of print stuff. You did the runway things. You did the catalogs. You did yeah, all that did stuff. stuff. I've, done, I've done a lot of mainstream um, modeling and stuff. And, you know, the reason that porn came about is that I went through a period of my life where I wanted to be a badass, and I made some mistakes and I needed to make money really quick mm -hmm. and uh, I took the porn route and uh, any regrets uh, the only thing I regret is putting myself in the position that I needed to make money with not necessarily when I got in the business was something I wanted to do it wasn't like okay I want to do because that was the last thing I want it's like because the thing is porn's a life sentence so like once you do it you really you got to do it because yeah. there's really nothing else you're going to be able to do. I mean, well, that's not necessary. You can do other things and you can kind of try to and you can make things happen. But it's like with getting a regular job, like say I have I have a business degree. Say I wanted to go work at an office place. Um, if they come and find out what I do, it it, it they're they're going to let me go because it's it makes their company and their 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 look look bad just like I can never work for Disney I can never work for you know you're never going to see me on the Disney channel which I could have been on the Disney channel with the way I fuck I look like a 12 year old so I mean you know it's the, these are the things yeah, that I never that I never yeah, yeah I never be able to do these things but you know porn kind of like came into my lap and I fell into my life and I can't regret I re I love doing it so I mean it's something I love to do I mean I guess. Well, what is your exit plan um Hopefully to like save enough money. All I want is a beach house with a sweet whip, and maybe a wife and a little dog too, and I'll be happy. <laughs> and how are you going to pay the bills? Um, I play the lottery every week. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> and um, fantasy football. Yeah, fantasy it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come through. I, you know, yeah. honestly, I think you know I'm young. I'm 22 years old, and I think that uh, I think that there's, I have something to offer to maybe make something of myself financially and personally and really try to make big things happen for myself and hopefully I end up with that result of just living a happy successful fulfilling life and that's all I'm looking to do so 
Have, have you, are you noticing you're getting recognized from co-ed? Um, yeah, I mean, that's cool. You know, I'm like kind of I, – I think it's cool. Like the fame's fun and everything. I just – I never really – I never really thought it would be that way, you know. I never, I thought I'd just be some run-of-the-mill motherfucker from Florida. So, uh, maybe this is a pretty big deal because you know we're on this hit series. I know it's fucking cool, you know, man. Fans yeah. all over the world on this thing. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that they made me a part of it. I got to do the tango and uh, with worm. Misty Stone. Incredible! It's a really, really good dance. I number. got to worm on the floor. Yeah, and, uh, and slide to her legs. It was fun. <laughs> 